everybody and welcome to part something or other, which is <laughs> part 17 on my watch. 17 of God, chapter 2. Yay, chapter yeah, 2. Yeah, so part 17. Of, uh, Wait, part 17 of chapter 2? No, it's part 17 of overall, overall, I was going to say. In chapter 2. Confusing intro. And this is how the real time do D&D. Oh, oh, oh. That was an amazing yeah. impression. I need to get those as a sound bite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, obviously it's me, the almighty powerful Gideon Morningwood, who got his ass thoroughly handed to him last... Uh, Last episode, Mark saved your butt. <laughs> saved my fucking pale wizard ass. And it's uh, I, Lyra, who owned ass in the last. She owned one. everything. Slicing with my fire sword, which I love. Slicing with my fire dagger. I'm, I'm worried that you're gonna stab me in the eye with that pencil. <laughs> and me, Mr. Pidge, who is either winning or losing, which is hard to find considering I'm <laughs> omnipotent, the bad guys, and all the NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, our heroes um, have. Continue to climb up the mountain. They first climbed up along the outside of it, um, where they were ambushed by the colossal ice titan that is Ugar. And he's very, very scary. Terrifyingly um, so. Um, because he makes noises like this. Which means he's coming. Wait, that's only wrong. There's running. <laughs> this is wanking noise. <laughs> this is this is the guy running. Oh no, I can't grab the fucking thing! <laughs> you make him run, make him run. <laughs> it's my thunder machine. <laughs> but yeah, so they, they, the they got thoroughly trounced by Urgard, and Gideon's life was literally saved by Marek diving on him. <laughs> Which has got to hurt. <laughs> so, fucking so, um, big heavy armor on. Now. So we went Just before the plateau, they were on crumbled away into infinity. They managed to leap onto um, a crack in the mountain and enter through the mountain. Um, they, yeah, they were um, when they came to a fork in the road, they went left first and found a odd staircase, which went to led to a um, a chunk of ice with a uh, templar and an altar in it, um, and with a uh, chalice stood on the altar, all frozen in ice. They then chose the right path, and Assassin's Creeded to Jotun in true stealth, floating flame hands, ninja spike in the neck way, um, and were healed by the um, the denizen of the uh, basically the springs in that room, um, not the bouncy. We struck a path for an eldritch creature, Serena, who um, healed them. So we join our heroes in the springs, and they're still on their way to um, Urgard's lair. Let's no, not Urgard's lair. That would be twelve death. What? <laughs> uh, to Kalrin's lair in order to uh, make dragon? crack a deal with him. Yeah, it was crack a deal. Crack a deal with the dragon. <laughs> crack dragon. Right, okay, let's crack continue dragon. forward. Uh, we don't want to go back. Is this what we've decided? So um, we found basically out. we'll go back later if we have time. So basically we'll the. Basically, the um, the water elemental, the healing, the healing get, um, girl, um, she said that the ancients created that spring um, and used to worship the gods of healing there. That's why the waters have like, like, like she controls the waters and they have healing powers. Um, she, they said that they brought her here um, using two items, using a black chalice and a black gauntlet. The gauntlet which Lyra is currently wearing. Ding ding with Lumi. Um, the and they um, they assume that the. Um, the chalice is the one they saw in the ice earlier, back up in the other room. So do you want to press forward or do you want to go back? It's time I, to make a decision oh, now. Oh, yeah. What do you I think imagine? we should press forward. I do too. You're just going to press forward? I don't want to leave it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally fine. Please right. let us go back. Please, please, please. Okay, so you um, you leave through the tunnel. Um, it's um, wider than the one you came through. It's round about 6 metres wide and 12 metres high. Um, domed roof or stone um, looks relatively safe. Cool. Um, you walk along for quite some time, all the while the path ascends slightly. There's a few like kinks in it where you have to climb up and stuff, oh, but just, like, um, and yeah, away. none of it's like so sheer that you'd have to make agility checks. Marek stumbles a bit as he tries to get up the slight ledges, but together you manage to help him up. Um, I need to put the right music on. Um, so you you carry on along this path. Um, and eventually you can hear the, um, the wind blowing outside. Um, so you keep on going forwards and um, you, the, the path widens into a massive room um, round about 30 meters wide and tall. Um, there is a, a 
cave ex identical to the one you were in, to your left, a tunnel, sorry, going down, um, and the path to your right leads outside. However, a giant blue magical barrier shimmers along the, um, the, the, uh, the exit. So we can't get any further. I'm sorry, I'm barrier. correct. Okay, you. well, I'm going to, um, well, it's obviously magical, so I don't need to do an arcana check to find out that it is magical. Um, perception test to see if there's anything else going on. And I get a 14, 15, 16, 17 perception. Okay. Um, could you, um, okay. Sorry, I'm just, um, I'm just filling in, um. Could you tell me where we are? Because I missed that a little bit. We're in a, we're in a tunnel. Yep. And there's a barrier, a magical barrier. A ma like a magical one, or one that was like the... the, the a magical yeah. one. It's magical blue glowing energy. Okay, cool. Is this good energy or bad energy? Have you figured it out? Uh, I'll do an arcana check. Well, I've got 14 on perception and 15 on arcana. Okay, so okay. Pitch, let your, us know. your perception, you, um, you look at it and you kind of wave your hand in front of it without touching it. Um, it ripples um, as the like your hand goes near it. Um, but you can't see it. you can't see any way through it. There's no cracks in the edge. You can't dig under it or anything like that. Um, <laughs> just dig under Arcana, <laughs> Arcana checks. Um, you um, kind of read the energies that are coming off it. Um, you read that it's extremely powerful, um, and the magical signature of it seems ex um, almost identical to that of Urgard. Uh, see if Lumi can do anything to neutralize it. Okay, Lumi, okay. hold. Lumi, I choose you. I'm also gonna do that. <laughs> it's my Pokemon. Lumi, I choose you. Out. Okay. I'm like, Lumi, could you check out this for us? No, not shake. Okay, um, yeah, she flies up to it, has a, has a look at it, and um, she then ba um, she then flies behind you both and charges it and then bangs <laughs> her head on it, and then she looks disappointed and then she turns into light and goes back into your gauntlet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she hurt herself. She's not even taking any oh, okay, damage good. now. Okay, well, um, so this thing seems pretty well. She was only a little tiny fairy thing that flew into there it. Is, there is a tunnel behind you as well. Yeah, that's the one we came from, yeah? No, no, I th there's I think... the one you came from. Yeah. You're now stood at the barrier, which was on the right from that cave, and to the left of the cave you came from, there's another cave. Well, okay, I, I think we'll... I think that if we disturb this this ice barrier too much, it might over. draw Uthgard to us again, and we don't want that, so let's go down the other um, you can, you, you can see through the barrier if you want to have a look at what's on the other okay, side. Okay, so it's on the other side. It's 8, 9, um, 10, 11. You can see that the blizzard has started again. Oh, good. Um, but it's a lot lighter than before. Cool. 11? Eleven. Um, okay, so you see that um, it definitely leads outside. There's snow on the floor. There's a kind of a, a, a rocky, uh, sheer face. Um, basically, um, it's basically a like a what's the word? Basically, like if, if you look at it from above, it's a hole in the mountain, which obviously like tunnels in. A glacier. A bit, like a no, it's, it's all stone. Oh right. It's, basically, from where you are, it's Valley. it's kind of a, it's a dead end, basically. Okay, cool. Right. Um, um, and there's snow piled up against the edge. Alright then, I guess we'll move on to the next tunnel things we can't get through. To the tunnel! To the tunnel! Okay. To the wall! So you, uh, you enter the other tunnel and it, um, the entire thing ascends um, at an, a relative angle that you can walk up with ease. Um, and eventually, um, after ascending and spiralling up for a while, you come to a dead end. Oh, sorry, no, eventually, um, as you spiral up, um, it's all frozen in ice again, um, so, um, but the floor isn't so you can get up without sliding. Um, the entire tunnel is now covered in ice where you are really thick ice, and you come to a dead end of ice as well, like a just whole wall of ice, you can't see through it, it's just... Uh, can I try and melt through it in flames? You can try, but it's not going to help. Yeah, just the first thing you want to do? <laughs> yep. Okay. Let us see if we can remove this obstacle. Oh, no, that's a Dr. Rolder. No. So flames. So you instantly use flames. Are you doing it through your staff or your hand? Staff challenge. So you pull out your staff. You. I already got my staff. It's a case okay. of. So you pull out your staff and you cast flames. Um, okay. As you do that, go. you begin to hear a really deep breathing from behind the other wall. It sounds like. Behind which other wall? From the other side of the the I dead see. end. Oh. And then suddenly, the um. The wall opens up, and there's an amber eye staring at oh, you. Oh, sweet! Oh shit! Sorry, dragon. The eye of a lizard staring at you. Amber, black slit in the middle, kind of golden, like shimmers coming off it. 
Um, it pulls its head away from the wall and kind of goes. What's the dragon's name again? This little Calvary. Ha- what? Ca- Calvary. 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 God, um, you must be Calvary. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Didn't mean to, bur- so to burn you your eye. eye. Sorry. You, looking out from where you are. Um, let me just. Marek, go worship your dragon. Go on. <laughs> Okay, so you are you gonna step to the edge and have a look at? I guess what's I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, are you all three of you or just like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let me just turn this Come down. Come in here. Okay. You, you are stood um, at the top again. You're at a tunnel looking down again. Um, there is a platform where you were. Um, it kind of the platform that you're on kind of arches around the room, but there doesn't look like there's any way down. Um, a vast chamber, lying, you're in a vast chamber, lined with thick, shimmering ice. The entire floor of the chamber is an ocean of treasure. Wow. Um, gold jewels, statues. Gideon's got doll signs in his eyes at this point. <laughs> all, of the, all of the statues glitter uh, with jewels, Lyra's all the gold glitters. You can, see, <laughs> you can see just like vast, vast treasure down there. Um, wrapped around the walls of the chamber, um, sits a gargantuan dragon. He's he's a hundred feet from snout to tail, wow. which is bigger than a blue whale. Wow. He's covered in smooth white scales. So not as big as Uthgar. Not quite as big as Uthgar. Shit. Um, but he's bloody big, colossal. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's covered in smooth white scales. Each one glistens like a wet like wet ice. Oh. Um, a ridge of jagged spines flow from its shoulders down to the tip of its tail. He has four huge limbs, um, four huge powerful limbs, each ending with a talon large enough to carry ten men in a single grasp. Shit. Rat. And he has two, two vast white wings sprout from behind its shoulders, um, and an amber eye sits, um, sits staring from a face of like graceful yet terrifying scales. Um, and uh, on the tip of its head, it has a crest of four long horns. Uh, Barak falls. Um, sorry. Marek. Yeah, I've written Barak for some reason. Marek falls to his knees um, with his, um, uh, with his like sword by his side. Looks up and goes, Kalrunia. I'll do the same. Sorry, did we just burn your eye? So you can go down your knees. I'm gonna curtsy. <laughs> You're gonna curtsy to the dragon. <laughs> I'm not gonna get down. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Oh, yeah, did you meet you? Come have some tea. You're not Come home. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, sure. Please don't eat you. Oh. I thought she's not quite like that. <laughs> She just kind of puts her hand on it. Mr. Big Me's Casino! <laughs> and, and bows, kind okay, of. Okay, so Calumnia latching onto the, uh, the wall, its long neck arches, so it's um, it's about 10 metres away from you on this on this um, kind of. You know ledge. you're going to have to do an epic dragon voice. Channel that dragon from Skyrim. I am. I am. Channel it! Calumnia. Um, Can't wait. Growling. Um, you can f- he kind of sniffs at you and you can kind of. Like this doubt of um, it's not smoke, but obviously it's the hot, the hot air rising kind of flows through and it like blows your head from just this stiff. <laughs> and he he turns his head and looks at you with his eyes and goes, "Who disturbs my slumber?" Um, Marek, <laughs> do you say something. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stand up and say you know break the bad news. Oh God has returned, great dragon. Yes, yes, the Colossus. Yes, we saw him. I destroyed him centuries ago. He's, he's, he's not, all, not all, all dead. He's, he's yeah, back he's and nearly, nearly killed us. Yeah, it knocked him for a few. Maybe lose <laughs> his sword. Impossible mortals. Stop lying and leave this place while you have your knives. Ah, search your yeah. feelings. You know this to be true. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, ignore him. I'm oh, no, no. Don't tell a dragon what to do. He'll eat you. Excuse um, me, but I'm more qualified. Mara, even Marek is shaking in his boots. There is, there is. And his animal's going. Uh, <laughs> have, have you, have you been outside, my dragon? <clears throat> he goes. I am resting as I have been for many years. Mm, I know. Yeah. Um. You might want to check outside, just just because. Just humor us. There's a little <laughs> bit of a blizzard going on, and it's not all natural, if you know what I mean. I see no reason to wake up for you, mortal. No, you you don't. Oh, you don't. I've got to say, say Ellen, you don't. <laughs> no, don't worry. Might want to get outside. It's a bit snowy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, what have we got? We've got that thing, haven't we? What thing? The eternity stone. The eternity stone. The 
thing that you were told to give him. Oh, here! <laughs> <laughs> we were sent by Baddock to bring you this offering. Oh, my, Ross. Uh, the answer, the are, you, are you going to pull out the utensils? Yeah. yeah. Ross, I'm present, present, I'm going to out my robes. I'm going to present it. Okay, so you present this small, um, it's basically like a marble, but it's golden and it glistens from the inside. And as you look into the center of it, you can see um, basically the stars in the universe inside oh, it. I love that. You hold it out up to Kalwarnir, and Kalwarnir brings his face really close to you. <gasps> his, his eye is literally feet away from you. He <laughs> looks so tempted you just go, eh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks at it and he goes, mm, I have seen one of these before. Yes, it's a. Did Ross send you? The descendant. Yes, he did. Yes. The descendant of Ross did. Unfortunately, Ross isn't alive anymore. I'm sorry. I know your friends. Been a long time. Been a very long time. You've been Ross is the while. only mortal ever to be worthy of my attention. Oh uh, yes, his descendant is just as worthy. He was tortured by these things, and he fought to protect his family and his friends. And a Marrick, Marrick here. Quaking in his boots, he's been a very strong person. Come with um, us to find Marek, you. Marek lifts his head up, looking in the eye of the of the dragon, and kind of nods his head like, "Yes, yes I, am, I am quite good." <laughs> you should see him. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit on the, on the bad and, and then when the dragon's eye looks at him, he kind of goes, <laughs> "Let's go again." There's this tiny elf girl and this wizard. I'm just there, like, "Yeah, it's great. He is." He, he goes. Um, I have been long waiting for another one of these stones. Well, here you go. But you also might want to put your, put your head on side. <laughs> Check the blizzard. It's We've been told to give you this gift. And in hope that you will aid us in the struggle. Uth Uthgar has returned! Oh god. And what do you want of me in return? To fight. We need you to help us we fight need, him. We need a bit of help. Russ, we really need your help. What's his name? Yeah, Russ. Panic. So once again, the orcs from below come to my summit in aid of my power. Oh, only because well, he's so awesome. Technically, only one orc. I mean, the rest of them are battered to hell. I will give you the same deal as I gave the orc centuries ago. Okay. For the stone of life. Yep. I will give you my aid. Okay. Sweet. Well, we're going to give okay. it to you practically anyway, so yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't deal. <laughs> Don't deal. Don't. Okay. Not even a think about it. I so, don't um, it anymore. <laughs> you just place the stone up on the floor in front of you. We're going to eat it. There's not much floor. <laughs> I know, yeah. Well, there, there is. There's enough to stand Oh, there. okay. So, do that, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I place the stone upon his, the floor. He, his, his great claw comes down like, over you. He picks it up between a nail. He, he picks it up between... <laughs> it, and he actually uh, he actually levitates between his Oh, no, does that. Oh, right, um, okay. He, he then... He, he then... Um, he then um, basically eats it. No, he then no, no. it into his mouth and he swallows it with one gulp. And as he does so, he, he kind of goes and breathes ice along the walls. Like, he, like renewed power. Oh, it's dragon food! Yay! Oh shit, imagine if I'd eaten that! Fuck! And he goes, and he goes, now be gone, human. What? Um? How do we call for your, how do we ask for your aid? Do you just appear? Do you know? Can you tell? Are you psychic? <laughs> I will know if I ask a lot of questions, okay? I will come to your aid if I can, but for now, I cannot. Okay. Might we, in we case we run into, batteries. um, we've um got... as, as he says that, he points upwards, and you see that the roof, made, uh, by the way, this, this chamber goes up for, like, thousands of feet. Obviously. Um, um, it's it's the, basically the top of it, and the entire roof of it is one of those giant, um, barriers. Oh, right. Wait, what? You know the barrier you found outside the blue one? Yeah. That you couldn't get through. One of them has covered the entire roof of this dragon's thing, so he's sealed in there. Oh, right. Okay, so hang on. So you, you... Yes, if you want my aid, you must first remove this thing. Yes, I know, okay, but you didn't believe us when you said Utgard was in here because of this. There's, there's proof right I... above your head. I do not believe that Urgard has returned. Someone wishes to seal me here, so which this... is fine by me. Okay. <laughs> I have long left to sleep. Okay, great. Um, can I have a rummage through um for, for any tomes that you might have played to try and find some way of removing this barrier? He rushes please? before you and says, "Do not touch my treasure!" For fuck's sake! I, I, I did. I didn't want to touch. Well, just want to look. Do not look. Okay. Do not think. Okay. Do not stand, or I will freeze you. Out <laughs> um. Lyra right, this dragon's cats. a bit of a cunt, really. I was expecting a nicer <laughs> dragon. That would um, be really nice. Right. Well, um, like... <laughs> I see through this mountain. With my, with, with, uh, I see you all through this mountain, 
and I know what has made the barrier. Okay, so wait, therefore wait. you know that Uthgard is still here then? Yes, I have not seen nor felt the Colossus. But he's... You just <laughs> said... You are, you are contradicting yourself, the Dragon! Barrier is all... Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. If okay, he no. truly has returned, then someone is hiding him from me. Okay, great. How do we break Whether the barrier? Whether he's returned or not, I do not care to fight him again. Okay, Mr. Man, Dragon thing, I can't remember his name. Carlossus, what? <laughs> Carlos. Carlos. Basically, he's agreed to help you if you destroy the barrier. How do we destroy the barrier? Yes. Sir. One of the white men who live on the mountain. Those Jotun tribal folk. Oh, I thought you were thinking white men. One of them, <laughs> yes. A great shaman. He came to my lair, get off, offered me a gift of treasure, and then left, sealing me inside. Did you take the treasure? Of course I took the treasure. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm a dragon! I'm sorry, but this... kind of my thing. This treasure might be the thing... kind of my thing. This treasure might be the thing that's sealing you in. Can we examine it? We will give it straight back. We just want to see... Do not it. touch my treasure! Do not think, yes, we know! But it's just... What if this is the thing that's... The shaman bore, bore an item. Something around his neck that exuded great power. Did you want it? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, hang on, did I get something off the shame? It was just slightly less shiny for my tastes. What have I, did I? The shaman should still be around here. Okay. Go Maybe in the old temple. Hang on, the the didn't we get the gold <laughs> ruby <laughs> necklace off of um, that shaman? It wasn't a shaman. Oh, it was not a shaman, just a, a chieftain. Yeah. Uh, let's, says, let's the shaman may the still shaman. be around here, probably in the temple at the summit. Okay, let's go to um, then. Which way at the summit? Can you point us in the direction? Can you give us a lift? Yours. You can leave from my lair and carry on to the summit. Okay, so we'll um, do that. And he, he gestures to um, another exit on the other side of the room. Well, that thanks way. very much. Well, dragon. cheers, dragon. Shit okay. else. So he, he, <laughs> he jumps back onto the wall and watches you as you as you stand. Okay. Um, you notice that to your right, there's um, basically the plinth that you're on kind of follows around to another exit. We'll go down there then. Okay. Yeah, look at this grumpy old bastard to so his you, uh, devices. Oh, he can leave that. You walk along. You walk along. Lost in his house. You walk along. You walk along the edge of the stone, um, looking down at the shimmering gold with Calvinia looking over you, um, and you get to an exit which is about the size of a normal doorway. Lyra gives it's, a a it's a ton. It's a ton about the size of a normal doorway, so you can stand one behind you. Right. Okay. Um, who's going in first? What order are you going in? Okay. I'll go in first. I'm gonna take out my two orcish daggers. You're gonna draw your two daggers. I've got, I've got my staff in. ready. Staff ready. Um, light on it or anything? Well, it's, it's light in here. It'll be it? him, me, Marek. You joined two walkers, don't you? Yep. You said it was light in here, so... Yeah, yeah. Don't oh, it, it, it's in the room, but not in the tunnel thing. Okay, well, yeah. A little, little, little bit. Little, little enough to see about. So, Gideon, Lyra, and Marek. Yep. Yeah. Okay? So, um, as you... So, you, you walk through this, um, this ice tunnel. Um, as you kind of walk through it for a bit, um, you hear the clatter of coins and goals behind you as oh. Calvin oh. starts rolling in all this gold. Oh. Going back to sleep. Roll <laughs> this gold. Yeah, scoot you duck in it. Um, okay, so you follow down this ice path for a while, and um, it ascends quite abruptly in these different stairs of ice. Um, you can climb up them um, eventually, um, and the cave carries on a little further, and you come to a clearing at the mountain summit. Looking out, you notice that um, you're above the cloud layer. Ooh. Very so it's, hard it's to very breathe. bright up here. Yeah, it's extremely bright. Um, very hard to, to your left and to your right, there's a sheer cliff face going oh, down. Um, you can see out across the top of the um, the clouds with um, the, sh the sunlight shimmering off them with silver lining. Um, in front of um, it's quite wide. Um, in front of you, there is a colis gate, and behind that. There looks like a um, a temple cut out of the very stone of the summit, um, and two eagle statues stand at either side. Huge eagle statues. Um, the temple itself is obviously stone. It has one big doorway that about two uh, that two people can stand abreast in. Um, I like saying abreast for some reason. <laughs> this means next to. Um, Boobs. Um, um, the door. There is no door. 
Um, just an opening. Just an opening. Okay, let's, let's head let's go over. through. Okay, so you walk up to the temple. Um, there's the two giant eagle statues and some stairs going up to the entrance. So you're just going to go up the stairs. Yeah, sure. I'm going to do a perception text check, see if we can see anything of interest. Traps. Five, that's a no. Oh, let no. me see if I can see any traps. That's a 17. Okay, so uh, you look at the statues. There's nothing special about them. You don't think they're going to animate. They don't think they have any traps. They don't have any jewels in their eyes. Um, <laughs> same same with the, uh, the stairs. Nothing going on there. Um, and Bolt. that's it. Okay, then let's head so up. let's go in. So you climb up the stairs. As you get to the top, you can see into the building. It's a very, very long building. Um, okay. It is about. Um, it's about now. 30 meters long and about 15 meters wide. Well, 15. 15 meters oh, wide. 50 meters. Um, that's all stone. Wide, that is. Um, there's carvings of. Um, me, um, bird-like men. Tengu! Basically Tengu. Oh. So basically humanoids, but with wings wings instead of arms and a beak. Um, um, all along the walls. Um, the stairs go down into what is basically one big congregation room uh -huh. where you can hear lots and lots of Jotun. Fuck. Um, above the room, mm -hmm. there is a balcony on either side. Yep. Um, with an eagle statue basically um, forming a bridge between them. So um, it's wing, like a wing starts on either one and its body's in the middle, right, making okay. a bridge across. Um, if you're stood at the very entrance, you can either go down the stairs into the main room where all the Joseph are, who haven't seemed to have noticed you yet. There are stairs going up to the right and the stairs going up to the left. Up to the Let's left! Go up to the left. So you're going up to the left. Um, go you're going to need a guile check to see if the Jotun... Oh no. Oh well, well my guile's minus 20, so they're going to know it's me. I have go up then. Oh sorry, no, sorry, no, you don't need to just get up the stairs. No, will it? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, so you, you, you extend the stairs to your left. Um, are all three of you doing this? Yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming staying low. Okay, so you, you get onto the balcony and you look down. Um, the entire... Um, the entire left-hand wall, sorry, um, covered in carvings of the same um, guys. Can, I, can, I, can I try and do a check to see if I can, like, decipher um, some of these? Yes. Uh, um, uh, if, uh, yeah, let me finish. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are, there's lots of... Um, if you look at it, there's a panel with writing, but of a language you don't understand, above a lever. A stone le uh, lever. Okay, so you can figure out the last So you can do a room smithing check to have a look. Room yeah. smithing! That's a 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, you do actually know what it is. Yes! Okay, okay. Um, you, ri you basically work out that these um, things have something to do with activating um, a defense system for the, um, the, the um, temple. Okay. Um, and the inscription above it says, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Oh, maybe there's another lever on the other side. Where Em's going to check one? it out. Okay, I'm going to do a perception check, see if I can use my elf eyes to see any more levers, okay? Yeah, yeah. Is it... 13? Can she can see across the other side where the other stairs? Yeah, are basically, if, if, you're, 50, if, you're, 50, if you're looking what's directly around you... Yeah. Right, so it's so if you're looking at the wall, yeah, in front of you now. Yeah. So you're looking at the wall. Yeah. So directly in front of you is the lever. Yeah. Directly behind you, there is the bridge, which yeah. you know is an, an eagle a statue, basically. And, awesome. on, and uh, with your perception check on the other side, it looks identical to the one you're on. So there's another lever. Yeah, there's another lever. So it's with a case of they either got to be pulled one after another or pulled at the same time. So what are you going to do? Is there any more to the middle? Well, you don't know. You've not gone over there. I read it. I don't know how to read it. Okay, so I'll go over there and have a done check out, see if I can see the other one. Doing anything on okay, the other one? Go, you are going to need a guard check to go over the bridge to stop to see if I'm just going to go back down and round. Oh, you can go back down and round? Okay. Yes, play safe, mate. Come yeah, on. Yeah, okay. I've, are they going to see me? I've got Guile okay. minus with me. I have to get so you, epic 20. So you go back so down and round, okay? Yeah, so I'm going to see if we can decipher the other one. Yep. 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, Same as last time. You actually do manage to do it. Yeah, room smithing. Um, go me. This one has the same inscription about activating the um, the um, the defense systems. But the inscription above this one says, um, "Pour light into the eyes of the eagle, and darkness shall fall." Oh fuck! I don't. Pitch, I'm no good at riddles, mate. You know what you've got to do. What? Can I do a perception check? On um, the by the way, when you when you do perception check, it also looks like there's something on top of the bridge as well. So, Andrew, you're going to have to go to the top of the bridge because you've got a better guy than me. Can I? 
Yeah, you can guile onto the bridge, yeah. So you you're gonna sneak. Go, you've got. Go. You're gonna sneak across the bridge, yeah. Can I have a stealth? Can I use stealth if I have my cooldown? Yes. I'll use stealth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 18, 16, sorry. Oh, you totally made it. Okay, so you sneak along into the middle of the balcony. Um, so you're stood on the balcony. To your left, there is the eagle's head. Yeah. And it has um, a sundial on it. Yeah. Um, and a. You can see that the eagle's eyes are gemstones. And and to your right, there's the tail of the eagle, which has nothing special about. So it must it must mean so when the sun, it must be triggered by the sun when the light goes into these eyes. So or any light for that matter. So I could just with my light. Let me pull the levers. Well, bear in mind that there's the clues of the triggers, the the things and stuff. You don't know what the well sun. Well, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. The roof is completely covered, isn't it? Are you going to do a perception check to yeah. the roof? One? Oh shit. Um, you don't notice anything. <laughs> you need to do something uh, to show you're, but... you're, on, you're on the other side, still, aren't you? I'll do a perception test to see if we can see the roof. It's a 19. Okay, so as you look onto the... She, she kind of signals with her eyes to look up. Yeah. And you look up and you notice that directly above the eagle's head, there is a uh, trap door. Right, the trap door's gonna open when we pull the lever. The lever's gonna, um, the sun's gonna shine down onto the light of the thing, uh, and the, something is gonna happen. What's the riddle of the? Well, we need to open the, the 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 one on the left said the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Yep. And the inscription on the right says pour light into the eyes of the eagle and darkness shall fall. So basically, right, okay, if we're at the top of the world. Therefore, this thing's in the middle, therefore we have to wait till it's exactly noon so that the sun is directly above, open the trap door, light will go down. Why don't we just shine light into the... Um, you you can hear the Jotun underneath. Um, there seems to be one giving kind of a, um, a sermon, like a rally to the, 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 the Jotun. So the, the shaman, obviously. You can have a perception check and look perception down. Perception test, so you can see, that's a, that's a nine. Oh, and I reckon it's a... Oh, so, uh, so Gideon, nine, you can see... 10, 11, 12. Yeah, Gideon can see that there are six Jotun and one Jotun um, who's bigger than the rest has a uh, three totems coming out of its back, each made of impaled orc skulls. Yeah, nice. Um, he has a necklace with a shard of blue ice hanging from it. That's the thing. Which, you have a shard which, of blue diamond. Which just irradiates magical energy. Yeah, but my um, he's, also, yeah. he's also holding a, a, a shaman's kind of staff, which yep. has um, the skull of a, um, a snow wolf on it, yep. and he's covered in tribal tattoos. Yep, that's the shaman, mm. obviously. And he stood on some sort of altar. And he, he stood at the basically the head of this um, temple, like, talking his talk to all the other judges before the other judges. Talk his talk! This is what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with you on this one, Hans. We are going to pull the lever. I wish for the best. The lever. What did I say? Lever. What's the difference? One's the American pronunciation. I presume I said the I American. Lever. 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 It's a lever. Lever. Anyway, it's, it's the, the British way of saying things. Lever. Whatever. Lever alone. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think that's we should just. Uh, just what you? She, she fails to pull the lever, falls off, lands, and all the jokes and grab her, and Gideon just goes, "Leave her alone." <laughs> 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 Into Experience points for being swell. Eagle okay. <laughs> you got it? You got the plan? Oh, do you know what? Fuck it, let's just do it. Yeah. Let's just do it. I want to kill it. What are you going to do? I'm going to die. Back over to the other side. Actually, no, I'm going to stay there. You're going to stay in the middle? Yeah. I don't want to, though. What if an eagle falls? And I'm stuck on the top of it. It won't fall. It's been there for fucking donkey's years. It's not going to oh, fall. Alright, okay. I guess, I guess I'll. Marek's still on the other side, isn't he, on the right? Marek's still on the left. Maybe if we pull both of the levers yeah. on the side. Marek's on the side. left, you're on the bridge, Gideon's on the right. So I what do the levers do? The le- oh, well, we need to open the trap door. Yeah. We need to open the... Oh. Pull them at the same time. Ready? Ready? Oh. We're just going to go for it. So you need to go out to sneak back to the other I side. I don't want to. I'm going to stay on the... I'm going to stay on the... Oh, so you're going to kind of tell... Signal to Marek to pull the thing. Yeah, but I'm yeah. stepping away from the sundown, so I don't block any of the sundown. Okay. I'm, okay. So I'm not un- underneath the... So you're going to try and pull it at the same time. <sighs> Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So like, come on then. Three, two, two, one. one. You pull them at the same time, it goes <laughs> then nothing happens and they both reset. Right, okay. Um, Which one's in the east? Oh yeah! Which, hang on. No. 
left and right, one must be east and um, west. The, there is so, some, the sun, so the sun rises um, in the east, doesn't it, and sets in... No, the, one of the inscriptions says... The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So hang on. Hang on. Oh shit, I got it. Never There's eat one shredded that wheat. No, no. Is it never eat shredded yeah. So you need to pull you need to pull the one that's on the right. Oh see, I don't know no, which no, direction no, no. I'm looking at it. I know that's the problem. The thing is, we There is something in the room that tells you which The direction. sundial! Shit! The sundial. Can I check the sundial? Yes. I've checked the sundial. Well I'll do a perception check. Thirteen. Okay. So well, seventeen. <laughs> Um, which way is the east? You look at it, east? and it's blatantly a sundial, but each of the symbols is in the same language as the um, the right. Oh. Okay, so it's still a sundial though. It's still a sundial. You just can't work out which way is the same. What? Well, it's not a sundial. It's a compass. Oh fuck's sake! But you need to translate it. You need to come. I can't translate it. By the way, I... there was a book that translates all of this in the ice caves, which you never found because you decided not to take the upper path. Oh. <laughs> Should I just go to try and understand it and do my see if I can get a natural twenty? Yes, go in Smith. Well, it's it's go good. Smith. Go on, um, let's go on. Give me give me a room Smith and go. If not, I'm just gonna. Fourteen now. No. Don't get nothing. You can sneak over and do it. I can't sneak. My guile is t- minus twenty. <laughs> I might as well just run, going. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, you you could try and run over. Well, if you could try and run over, look at it and go north that way, <laughs> and then go pull it, pull it. <laughs> Okay, but if M sneaks over to I know, where I am, I am going to do that. We need to pull the east because the east side opens it, the left side. Or she could memorize them, walk over to you, tell you what each symbol looks like, and you could try and interpret it. Okay, them. yeah, I'll okay, do that. Okay, go on, then. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Give us the option. So you need a guile check to, to check I'm to still sneak stealth. back. You still stealth, yeah. Thirteen, totally do it. Okay, so you sneak back over. Okay, so you. I look like a monkey X. <laughs> you are, <laughs> with a dot above it. You are gonna need a charisma check to see how well you can pervade the information. That's my charisma. Three. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Oh no! Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. What was it? It was a three, but. I got to that one. Four, oh, five, six, seven. seven. Okay, so um, your room space chat's gonna be minus three. Oh god, I'm sorry. Yeah! 16 plus. But I'm not getting. I'm not. My room smithing is three. So, so there's no modifier. Oh, you, 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 do, you do know then. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. yes. You Smart know that on. the way the eagle is facing is north. Oh, I'm guessing. So um, the right path is. Sorry, the the left path. No, never eat shredded wheat. The yeah, left path. Oh, is, I was like, ne- is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Never, never eat shredded yeah. wheat. Not, so the left. Is the east. left. I always get confused with east and left west. Or, east. No, the left is east. west what? and the right is east. No, if the eagles. No, the north. eagles facing away from the entrance that you came in. Oh, Ralphie, yes. So, right, hang on, hang on. I need to right, okay. so, so, so. Alright, this is what we're going to do. Never okay? eat shredded wheat. Yep. This is like fucking primary school shit. So the shit. side that you're on is east. Oh, it's west. He went, to, he went to the left one. If the eagle is pointing north, and one, one of us on either yeah, I'll show side. You. Yeah, I'll show you. So the sun rises in the. There's Marek, there's you and me. Land of the rising the, sun. That is. The eagle. That, la- I wait, 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 hang on. The hang on. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Land of the rising sun, that's the east. Because that's like Japan and stuff like that. Well, so I it, has to, I would have, it has to go. I have to pull the right hand side one first and then the left hand side one. Well I think it says the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. I think Remember one the... lever opens the trapdoor and the other one closes it. Yeah so exactly, exactly. So, do... so we pull the left one, the right one first, first and then the left one. And then, but not... So I got confused with the left and right. The I'm such a retard. Remember the inscription says it rises in the east and sets in the west. See, and that's what I think. I so think yeah, we have to pull the right think, one first, and then the left one. I think we should just pull the right one. Okay, for okay. now. So you're on the right side. Yeah. Put something to the rubber on that. It's just a jagged piece of metal. Right? Yeah. So you're going to yeah. press, pull the right one. Yeah, Marek is, because he's over on that side. We're no, on you're on the right side. Are we? Yeah, because you went to the left side first, uh, and then Gideon went back round, didn't you? Oh, right, okay, yeah, so yeah. we'll pull the right lever. Lever. So you're at, Fuck's sake, you're at where it's pointing east. Yeah? Yeah. 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 We'll okay, so you pull it down, and goes, and stays down. And then we need Nothing to signal on to the other one. Then the other one needs to be pulled. Yeah. So you signal over to Marek to pull the thing. Yeah. yeah. Marek pulls, pulls it down and goes. <laughs> and the um, the stone panel that was the trapdoor slides yes! over, letting in the sunlight. You can see that there's a huge tunnel of basically mirrors 
which funnels down all the um, the shining bright sunlight from the top of the world into a laser beam. Yeah! This Do a laser beam noise with the, with the thing you make. I can't. Oh. Uh, so this searing hot laser beam of sunlight fires, uh, basically is focused down into the eyes of this, um, this the eagle statue, and the, uh, which superheats the energy, which fires out down um, at the statues in the lower bit, and the light then bounces from each statue and makes a web of searing hot light. And all you hear is the shh, shh, shh and all the judgments just go, and they all fall down. And um, you just Let's get loot these an bastards. overwhelming smell of searing flesh. Oh. Barbecue anyway? And, and then the, um, <laughs> and then the, um, the, um, the shaman, who seems unscathed by this, throws a blast of ice at the statue, knocking it down and stopping the sunlight coming in. Oh, so all the Joe and the dead apart from the Only the dead and the shaman. Yes, great. And the shaman, seeing this, um, he, he like, um, he roars a primal roar and then runs outside. Oh, shit. Quick, chase. Cloak and float, downwards. Ba -ba. And I guess okay, so you cloak down, down to the bottom and you land on top of this eagle statue just as you see the Jotun leaving. Right, fire him with an ice blast now. No, he's immune. He's, he's, they've got a... They've got a um... Yeah, but if he's using ice magic, fire magic obviously going to be more powerful against it. Yeah, well, so... Your, your fire won't be in range at the moment. I think I should try and knock him it down with an arcane range. blast. It won't be in range is Arcane Blast in range? Arcane Blast will be in range. Yeah, That's what I said, Arcane Blast. Oh, sorry, I thought you said fire. Okay. Arcane Blast. Can you throw an Arcane Blast in? That's a three. That's a thirteen. Um, you don't hit it. Second one? No, you don't have second one. Oh, yeah, because I... Um, it's a, it's a reaction action. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? That's all we can do. We can charge You're going to charge down the stairs, and Marit does the same. Okay, so the Shaman uh, runs in the... <laughs> like a magic He Batman. runs, stands on the Collis Gate that's in the clearing outside, yeah. and he turns to face you both, banging his staff on the... Uh, and he bangs his staff on the ground, it's like, like, like shockwave of energy comes out of it, but he doesn't do anything to you. So he stood outside waiting to fight with me. So basically, so I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, basically, I'm gonna basically run, 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 run out and kind of like, like face off. I'm gonna get my cloak and whip it, staff in front, in front of him. Okay, let's do it. And then Lyra, I assume, and Mary go to stand beside. I run at him, and my my dagger suddenly bursts into flame. Okay, so you, your orcish dagger, your orcish dagger on the left, flame, and on your with your right hand, dagger. you grab your other orcish yeah, dagger. Yeah, and I'm like, thorns. ha! Of your thorns. The other okay. I don't know um, why, I just like... I don't know why I'm stood up, I'm excited! I know, excited! Like, Marig runs and stands behind Gideon, Gideon slowly draws his sword and holds it next to him. Okay! Fate us! <laughs> so, this is the order of combat's gonna go in. Lyra, yep. Gideon, Jotun, Marig. Right. Okay, so go Lyra! Right, I'm gonna rush in. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna charge him. Hit, uh, hit him with your charge. Uh, which weapon are you gonna charge with, the flaming or the non-flaming? The flaming. Okay. Yeah? Yep. 19. You hit him. Doing... 6. Doing... I got a 6. 6. Uh, Just my 2. 8. Yeah. Alright, hit him with the other one. I got a 1. Oh no, you hit yourself. Oh. Blah, blah. Probably did. Oh no, your other one doesn't hit. On a charge, you only hit one weapon. Okay, cool. Um, but your second action can be to attack, which is both weapons. Oh, yay! Because your first action was the charge. So I can hit him with both again? Yeah, yeah. So, so this time you can hit him with both. Fire. Eight. Misses. And the other one. Nineteen. Stabs him. Doing... Five. F yeah, five. Six, seven. No, uh, that one's not flaming. Oh. But it's plus two? Yeah. No, it's D3, so you half it. Oh, you? right, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to flame. I'm going to flame him. Ha ha! Okay, so flame. Flame. Yep. Stuff. On the side of the stuff. Yep. 17 hits him. That does hit him, yeah. Doing three, That's four, five. Five it's damage, yeah. Oh, oh, like Next attack. Hit, uh, nine hits him again. Doing three, four, five again. So I've done ten. Okay. Okay, so the the uh, the shaman riddled with um, stabs and stabs and burns. burns. <laughs> um, he grabs the uh, the shard of ice on his on his um, on his chest, and he starts chanting. And with don't let him finish the chant. With an almighty fourteen, 
He summons a barrier around himself, sending Lyra flying, needing agility check to land on your feet. And Come on, Somersault! Three. Okay, so you, you land um, smack on your head and you're stunned for a turn. Oh no. Okay. So he's got an ice barrier around like a shield around He's got basically the same force field that was a vocal in his lair and on the wall, which you know to be relatively impregnable at the moment. Um, um, but you can attempt to dispel it with your own magic. Oh, how do I do that? I don't dispel something before. Oh, you just have to pass a willpower check. Okay, so willpower. Um, but oh, dude, I wanted to know that before! But it's Marek's turn. Oh, no, you can't dispel the, 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 the big ones. Oh, just right. Just his one, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so you, um, Marek just tries to charge the barrier. Um, <laughs> he automatically hits it, but um, his sword flings off. Fight. Yeah. So with his second one, you're ready in action to charge him when he... Okay, cool. So my turn. Free. Yeah. My, yeah, my yeah, yeah. No, it's Lyra. Well, it's Lyra's like, like, turn. She's stunned. So Gideon. Full power test. No, 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 no. Okay, um, that's a long action. So that'll take your entire turn. You have to roll less than your willpower. Willpower 12. is twelve. Oh shit. Seventeen. 17. So you don't manage to spell it. Ah. Um. Okay. So he... I need a blocking spell. Like some. Kind of, I need a barrier of my own. Yeah. The that's shape. The thing I need. Yeah. Well, cool. Um. There was a room to do it. You just didn't take it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so he um, he um, he basically throws his, um, his shaman stick up into the air, and he begins to form a giant block of ice above Gideon and uh, Marek. And with an almighty Miss. four, um, he doesn't have enough energy to um, to make it. So he dispels. Oh, oh, sorry, no, he does. Yeah, he does have enough. What? He needs eight, and he got nine. Um, so this thing. Falls down on top of Gideon and Marek. You yeah, have to jump out, out, the out the way. Yep. What do you need to do? You have to get over 10. 11. Yes. But what's your guilty? Minus 3. Minus 5. So it hits you. Oh, what? So it needs to get over 10. Yeah, with minus 5. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so this giant block of ice falls on Gideon. He doesn't quite manage to jump out of the way and takes 3 damage. Can Marek jump out of the way? <laughs> oh, yeah, Marek does actually manage to jump out of the way. He's come for some armor. Okay, so now it's Marek's turn. Marek, still knowing he can't do anything, um, yeah, basically he just uses Good you to spell it! Yeah, he goes, Good you to spell it now! And then, and then uh, gets ready to charge. Solar Flare! I guess I'll stand uh, up, Lyra, rub my head, stand up as your first action. Grab my two, set, my two daggers, and just be like, Good you! Good you do something now! I, 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 I really want like, a focus kind of. like. Cheese dance, it's something like. Then dispel. Now I'm thinking more like. Neo, try me. <laughs> oh. Don't ever kill anybody. Keep cell there for like two years. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dispel ten. Okay. Oh uh, so yeah, I do. You yeah, you focus your energy and you oh. send a blast at it and it shatters. And me. I'm and as Barry. soon as it shatters, Marek charges in at it. With me. And Lyra okay, as well. Um, so. Um, Lyra doesn't quite get there with this one action, but so your next action will automatically be to charge. Um, Marek actually doesn't hit him. <laughs> the fuck? fuck? Okay, so now it's the shaman turn. So the shaman um, is going to step back away from Marek and he's going to cast Code of Cold, which will hit Marek and Gideon. It's basically a spray of cold. Oh, can I? Hang on, can I? Um... Can I do, can I do like a, a flame one and be no. in the middle? Oh cool, that'd be so cool! Um, so he actually hits Marek, doing... Uh, don't just do 3 plus 1, so that is 2, 3. So he does 1 to Marek, because he's frost resistant 2. But he's frozen for a turn. And Gideon, it hits Gideon, oh. doing... 4, and you're frozen for a turn. Oh what? Well you're frozen until you, pack, you break out of it. Which will be never, because I'm a strength too. It's, it's not strength, it's willpower. You have to dispel it around. Oh, right, right okay. Oh, it can be strength or willpower. You can do it brute force and you can focus your energy away from it. Marek has to try and break the ice now, yeah? yes? Yes. Or is it my... Uh, it's not my turn, is it? No, Mar Marek's going to try and use his brute strength to break out of the ice. Um, totally manages it, but yeah. that's his turn. <laughs> right. So, Lyra? 
charging. You're charging, so you carry on charging. Slicing my sword, 17. You don't have a sword, sword yeah? You don't have a sword anymore. The, the, I mean, yeah, my dagger. She needs a dagger, doesn't she? My flaming dagger. So, so you do two, three, four, five, six damage to her. Six, and then I can actually attack now, right, yeah? Yeah, you can use it. The you. flaming dagger! Yeah, attack, yeah. 20. 20! Oh, epic! Critical Ems hit! Ems has been so epic, these two! Oh, you got a 20? Yeah! Shit, son! Shit, son! Just got real! Shit, son! Where's your fam? Okay, so he's he's bloodied. Oh, he is! Critical hit, right? So I need to... So Which means he's instantly bloodied, and you double the damage you do. So you do. 12! He's dead! No, no, he's not 12. It's 3, because it's the D3. Mm -hmm. D3, oh, right. plus yeah. 2 for being orcish, so 5. Plus two for being flaming, seven, seven. double, fourteen. Fourteen! So Fuck like my four. life! And that's only the first dagger. <laughs> no, that was both of them. The first one you did damage, the second one you got crit. Oh, that was my charge? Oh, no, you've done three. Oh, I can do three. I only just do two. No, you did one for your charge. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, do your other dagger. I thought, I thought you'd done three. Alright. Have I done three? I thought you'd done I three. I don't know. I thought you'd only done Let's one. Let's say you've done three. Okay. <laughs> and not kill okay, off quite so Gideon's go. Try and willpower break out. Yeah. Okay, so that's your turn. Um, the shaman. Yes, he's gonna attack me. The nearest. <laughs> um, he's going to um, punch Lyra away. Oh right. Remember, he's a Jotun as well, so he's fucking epically strong. And then, and then, um, well, he's gonna punch. He's gonna punch her away whilst like squeezing his thing for more energy again. How is he doing that? He's like. Well, he's, he's, this, just, he's just back and you won't do any damage or just knock you back. Okay. So he he swings at Lyra, he's cumbersome so you can dodge it. He hits you, okay. you don't dodge it. So you get just knocked back so and like, then he, like next to and then he tries to cast his barrier. Oh. Cast it on a 20. You have to reroll successful uh, willpower. Oh, attacks. what? Okay. Okay, so it's, so it's Marek. Uh, Marek will help Lyra up. Right, and then okay. you're ready in action to charge him. Looks like it's down to me again! Oh! Hi, willpower! Oh, sorry, it's Lyra. Oh. Come on, Lyra. I'm just going to ready it again. You're ready to charge. Sorry. He's going to die, no, when it, well, as soon as that barrier gets shot anyway. Yeah. I've not had a single successful hit on you. Willpower? Willpower! No. No, so you fail. Ah, okay, brain so the, freeze. The shaman, um, he summons a, um, block of ice. a block of ice above uh, Lyra. Above, no, because Gideon's in a different oh, yeah, place. Yeah. Above Lyra and Marek. He oh. fails to cast it and, and um, takes feedback. It does um, half of the P10. Surely his barrier should... Uh, three damage to himself. Because he's lost concentration. No, he does three damage to himself, though. Lyra! <laughs> Break three! Okay, so uh, Marek, I'll just... He'll move slightly away from Lyra so that the hammer won't hit the um, the falling guys. So will only hit one of you, and then he gets ready to charge. Uh, Lyra again. I'm gonna move away from the falling guys. <laughs> no, it, it it didn't summon. Oh right. It didn't yeah. summon. Huh? Um. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna pass on my turn. Just get ready. Yeah. Focus again. So Gideon. Willpower. No. You fail again. Okay. But willpower hasn't gone up at all. So the Jochen and um, the Jochen's gonna throw a shard of ice at Gideon. And he misses. Yay! Unless your fort yeah. unless your fortitude is ten. It's ten. It's ten. Oh crap! You get hit, <laughs> and you take um oh. Uh, no, my fortitude's ten. One he's damage. Got, got, oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. All right, I guess Marek can't do anything. Oh shit! Uh, Marek can't. Marek's gonna ready again. You're gonna ready again, Gideon. Gideon, you have willpower. <laughs> that's, that's nine. Okay. So I totally dispel it. So you pass and it shatters. And you both activate and we charge both it. Charge. So Marek charges in, totally hits him, doing one damage. <laughs> Lyra hits him. Oh, she doesn't Misses. hit him, I miss. Um, what's oh, your you. bonus then? What is my bonus? Your, your weapon skill. But no, you don't. Okay, your second dagger then? That was the flaming one, you were the one? Oh, come back. Eight, uh, plus five, yep, you hurt him. Doing D3 plus two. Three. Three. He's dead yet? No. He almost dead yet. He's bloody, yeah? Yeah, he's bloody because he's got critical. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, now it goes to Lyra's turn again. She just had a turn. Uh, that was a reaction. Oh, right, okay. So I can just slice that even off. Yeah, like, you can do fiery four dagger, dagger attacks. Oh. So the first one misses. That should you, hit you. And you break that dagger. Ah. Oh. 
Sorry, you got another. You got a spare. Okay. So you, you... I guess I'll just swap. Can I swap the dagger to my hands just to make yeah. it fiery? Yeah, that'd be one of your actions there. <laughs> so you lose an orcish dagger. You swap hands, so it's flaming, yep. and then you can swing again with that one dagger. Yeah. Four. Uh, Nine. No, you don't manage to hit. Damn it. Um, now it's Gideon. I'm getting bad now. Flames. <laughs> oh, Seventeen. Yeah. Totally hit him. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Balls. So that's one, two, three. That's fine. Five damage? Okay, next one. 16. 16, hit him again. Four. Six. Yep. Um, he um, steps back and shakes his head and goes, No! Oh. Like angry at you. He's gone berserk. Oh. Come at me, bro! Come at me! He now takes double am double damage, but he gets two actions instead of one. Okay. Okay, so um, first things first, he is gonna um, summon his barrier. Sorry, he can't summon his barrier, he's berserk. Um, he's, <laughs> go he's gonna do a cone of cold on um, you and Marek. Hits, um, <laughs> hits Lyra, doesn't hit Marek, so you're frozen. <laughs> and you take two damage. Two or a six? It's D3. Well, D3 out um, of six is three. Ah, oh, okay. Three, two. Okay, and for his second action, he is going to summon a, um, a, um, big... Block he's going to summon ice. a block of ice above um, Gideon, which he passes. Um, agility check to dodge it. No. No. Oh, and sorry. take nine damage. Oh, my God. That's ice. 20, 22 minus... Nine. Marit. That'd be eleven. Eh? Eleven. Oh yeah. Marit. Yes, Marit. Um, Marit's gonna charge him. So I got. Um, hits oh, him. Twenty-two minus nine. It's not eleven. Twenty-two minus nine is eleven. Oh right, I'm bloody. No, it's not. No, sorry, no, it's thirteen. It's been twenty. It's thirteen, isn't it? I don't know. Really know. Anyway, so he hits him. Do it. So bloody. Twelve. Oh. And then um, hits him again. Doing. <laughs> so 14? Yeah. Is it dead yet? No. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, Lyra's then again. Uh, but you're frozen, so you need to try and get out of the ice. You can do strength or, strength. Uh, or uh, willpower. So yeah. it's either that, that, your dice plus 3 to try and get over 10, or you have to roll under the under Can nine. I roll it and just see what I get? No, you have to choose one first. I have strength. Okay, so you can get out of brute force, and you Six smash two. out of it, but that's your turn. Gideon. Fire with me. Flames again! Flames! Yep. Yep, totally does that. Yep. Oh, there is six as well. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, it really looks bad. Next flames. Two, twelve. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, six, okay. seven, eight, nine. So Gideon musters this epic ah. blast. He shoots it forward. It's, it's like a Kamehameha of and fire. And as he fires, the two eagle statues of the temple focus energy into him and he sends out a blast of like Phoenix. In, into me? Yeah. Phoenix You blast. channel the energy of the sky That's temple. Ace. Your flames burst into this giant flaming eagle. Oh, it's amazing. Which flies through please, the, please through learn the it. Jody's please shaman, learn it. exploding it and shattering its... Um, its um, Urgard's necklace to pieces. And in the distance we hear a dragon cry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you hear a I don't know how Phoenix sounds. That's awesome. It's just like a smoke <laughs> <laughs> It's like, a, like, like an eagle, but like a really epic sounding eagle. Okay, so, well done guys. That was awful. Um, oh god, please, have I learnt a new spell from no, that? That must be... Oh, you both cool. have three experience though. Three experience? <laughs> Uh, you got one for doing the epic. I have ten. I only need five. Five million. Oh, I so wanted to learn a phoenix blast. That'd be so cool. No, that was just because you managed to channel the energy of things. Well done. I know, but basically the gods who looked upon the temple saw your plight and granted you a power. Yes. <laughs> for that time. Oh, phoenix blast is so cool. Like, that was a, that was. Oh, a can I not get like a what like a, a one use a day ability? No. Phoenix blast. Oh, so cool. Damn it. My faith You could go into the temple and try and will the gods to give you a gift. Totally gonna do that after I've looted the shaman's body. And he exploded. Yeah. Did he not drop anything? No, he exploded. His totem pole was just. He exploded. Okay. <laughs> You're still frozen in ice as well. No, I broke out. Oh, yeah, you did, sorry, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so what do you want to do? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and commune. I'm gonna try and commune with the gods. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna use a healing surge first. Actually, two, 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 six. Uh, four, six. five, six, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen. Yeah. 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 I've taken two damage. Can I try all of that? Yeah, two damage. Oh. No, you have two damage. No, no, that's my healing surge. Oh! Like two from Jesus Christ. I, might, I got healed by <laughs> You get that. thrown around, but you never get hurt. <laughs> I'm just like, it's just so light. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's literally just It thing. makes sense. Okay, so what, what, what are you gonna I, I do? Wanna, I want to try and commune. I want to try and like commune with okay, the gods so you, try. You enter back into the temple. Yeah, um, I mean. It's a mess. There's smoldering barbecue jokes in everywhere. The uh, bridge of the temple has collapsed onto all the dead bodies. Um, um, there is an altar at the, um, the, the basically the foot of the temple, the end, the, the opposite end of where you are. Okay, can I go to the altar? Can I go to the altar and do like a perception test? If there's anything lying about? Okay, can... yeah, perception check. Are you going in with him, Myra? That's a yeah, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Great, so I'm not going to bother. What? So you got thirteen. Got thirteen. I'm okay. Um, the altar itself um, has basically the statue of an eagle wrapping around it, but the top of it looks completely plain. Um, there's kind of uh, rims on it where like things would have been placed, like, worn over time. Um, and that's basically it. Have we got anything that I could have offered? You can do arcana checks to get, uh, notice energies oh, and stuff. Good idea. Or, uh, arcana check. Natural oh. 20! Okay, um, you can feel energy radiating all around the temple and from this altar, um, and it feels like the energy that flooded through you when you cast the phoenix. Can I, can I, like, place, place my hands on it and try and commune and try and yes. ask, ask the gods yep. of this temple for a boon? You need a faith check? What's my minus uh, faith? Oh, minus 18. Yeah. 18? So you got no, it's 19! So that, you got one. Oh, that's, oh, that's one. Oh, no! <laughs> Well, I, that's impossible to pass. Yeah. And natural 20 always passes. Oh, right. Mm. You don't have a lot of faith in the gods. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? You can try other things. Like what? I, what, I want new power. I find that I'm finding out my spells are not adequate enough. Why don't you look at the ultra a bit more carefully? I have see if this. you can see anything like in the eagle statue. Oh, I've already done it. I, I've already done it. Your spells aren't adequate right? enough. You only ever cast one. Mm. I know, I know, because it's the only one that works at the moment. If I got like a really awesome, even if it was only one like like well, you know you, one you, use a day in in from you've not, in, in, you've not cast case. like sparks or anything. That that works. It's just the things you buy and have a weakness to buy. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> what am I going to use more? Ooh. It's like when you get it's like when you get a Pokemon, you get that one move that just works on everything. But you're rewarded by having that one move because you went to the trouble to find it, getting up some fields. Exactly. Yay! Uh, yeah, but it's just a raise. Handy. Oh. So, do you want to try and do anything else with this altar, or are you, are you done there? Can I try and absorb some of the power from it? Um, no. 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 <laughs> oh, Maybe you can sing. Oh, that was a waste. That, 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 what a come down. That's like coming down of ecstasy, that is. It's fucking horrible. Well, you own the fucking Should thing. I try and do my minus 20 of faith? Yeah. See what you I can try. You can get lucky. If you <laughs> get a natural 20, I'm going to walk out of this fucking house. 13. No. So... The, the gods of that temple. Oh, like, fuck them. <laughs> we gave them enough power before. They don't wish to commune with you. <laughs> oh, it's so gay. I get a natural train and leave it. Okay, so. Oh, what, I, would, I would have from, my from car what, and gone over. From what you know, Urgard's uh, uh, shard has been destroyed and the barrier should have broken. Let's go check it out then. So you can go back to uh, Calvin. Yeah, let's go back to Calvin. Yeah, alright. Okay. Why did you have to pick such a hard name? Calvin. 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 Because it sounds like um, it could be a Skyrim show. Kaurunir! <laughs> oh, Phoenix Blast was so epic. I want it, it was again. Like that was that was that was, that was like epic fucking epic blast of epicness. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Go on. I'll so it um, now. you remember that there's a color skate when you were fighting the um the, the ship. Oh, oh, oh right, okay, so we can. What's it's, it's not activated. Can we can we go? Can we? I want to go to the color skate and see if I can just see it. It's what we came here. Okay. It's what we came here with. It's what you teleported. I'm gonna go to the call skate and just sit and do a perception test. Yep. That's a 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, it looks exactly the same as the one that was in the one that you came through and the one that was in the palace. Oh, so there's no um, markings on it as to what it like. Um, no. Um, there's the four pillars on either uh, on either side that have been worn down, but they look like they could still work. And there is the um, this place in the middle for the uh, stone to go to, to basically to teleport you to wherever. Okay, I'm gonna do. There's no stone in okay, there. Okay, I'm gonna do an arca arca arcana check, see if we can find anything else out about it. Like, there must be something as to like where it, like, 
like a name of the colour skate or something like that. Did you do arcane check then? That's a 13. Okay, um, 15, 15, 15, 15. 20. Yeah, okay, so you worked out that it, from you can tell by the magical energy swirling around it, that it is perfectly working if you find a stone to teleport. Okay, ru uh, ru uh, rune smithing, <laughs> just because yep. I can. That's an 18. You discovered the same thing. There's nothing else to find out about it. So Jesus, there's no there's no name for it. Yeah. Not even like the the cloud the cloud well, tower. Oh, it's just it's just it's just. Oh, we call it right. So it's a case that we can never go back to. No. Colour skates don't take you to one place. It all depends on the crystal you put in it. Oh, the I see. Colour skate is just the mechanism that activates. Well, can we not snoop around the uh, the temple a bit more and see if we can find anything interesting? There's nothing in there. Well, that's a lot of trouble. Wow. Gideon has a moment of realisation. There's nothing in there. Moving on. The Sims. <laughs> Moving on, Will Green Triangle. Well, you've looked around enough, and yeah. all you've seen are bare walls. Okay, with let's go. Let's statues. go back to. And all the jokes are like toasted, and usually don't have anything on them anyway. Coronet! <laughs> right, let's go back to this fucking stupid dragon. Grumpy. It's only been grumpy because it's been trapped. And okay, so you were, to, you were turned to Coronet's lair. Like um, hey? What? Treat Calvin as an old man that you don't like, but you have to put up with. You return to Calvin's lair, he's lying on his back in the treasure, with his arms folded, looking at the door, waiting for you to come back. Hello, Sir Dragon. Right, stupid Dragon. You can turn around the fucking thing. He goes, so, I see you have survived. Sur what? Yes, I did an epic fucking blast, it was awesome and I can't do it again, and now I'm very demoralised. He's a bit miffed. It seems that the barrier has gone. Yay! So I will give you my aid. Hooray! Thank you. I will give you the same aid that I gave Russ centuries ago. Here, much. take this. What is it? And he gets up and he teleports one of his treasures up towards you. <gasps> Yay, um, treasure! Oh, um, I want it. He gives no, it. fuck off, I'm He floats it towards Gideon. Oh. He floats it towards Gideon as Gideon's the one that gave him the Eternity Stone. Um, Sorry, what's that, bitch? He floats it towards Gideon as Gideon gave him the Eternity Stone. Yeah. Um, it is one of Calrinir's horns oh, okay. um, that has been um, turned into a horn that you can blow. Oh, yeah. oh, he floats it towards you and uh, Gideon gets it and he goes, Call on this when Ugard shows his face and I shall come to your aid. Hey! What we need to do. Oh, yay. <laughs> 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 uh, what we need to do is probably go back to Russ and give it to him. Well, Russ is dead, so I already know. And he goes, and he goes, also, take this. And he floats um, a gem from his collection up to you, and you grab it. It is a white crystal for a color scheme. Yes! Ba -la -la -la. <laughs> yay. I'm there, like, missing. So this, is, this takes us to somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. <laughs> We ask him, this takes you to like the middle of a desert and you just go, fuck! Uh, I can't hear, where does this colour skate like, This whole leave? thing was a ploy just to get you into that colour skate. <laughs> can't hear, where does this colour skate lead? This colour skate crystal lead? It will take you back down to the foot of the mountain. Excellent. Ah, right, that. so you don't have to go all the way back. Do you, have yeah. a, do you happen to have a, a colour skate to up to field? Just randomly, please. <laughs> Over now. I have granted you two of my treasures, yes. now leave. Alright, All right, you grumpy old bastard. I know, yeah, grumpy old um, So do you want to just go to the Colour Skate, or do you maybe want to go and maybe look at the Chalice thing while you have chance? Or go look, or look at what's through the other barrier that was there? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, other barrier. Like that. Other barrier. Let's go back then, yeah. let's go back. So you, um, you go back through the cave systems, something good, something good, um, and something that good, big barrier that was there good. isn't there anymore. Something good, yeah, something good, something, good, something good. So you walk good. through, and remember it's a dead end of stone yep. um, with um, loads of bolts up, um, ice covering yep. it. I'm sorry, uh, snow covering yep. it. So um, you can't see anything immediately. Perception check. Oh! 17, 18, 19, 20! 12. 12. So Gideon rolls higher, so he notices it. Um, he sees in the snow something shining. Yeah. Is it a dragon egg? It's a dragon egg. Um, totally it's steel. very, it's very small, and you can just see it shining from the rays of the sunlight. Um, by the way, the blizzard seems to have stopped. Okay, so let's have a close look at this thing. Okay, so you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna push the snow around away from it? Yeah, like, like, it? like dust the snow okay. away from so it. So you dust the snow away from it, and you see that it is a um, a necklace on a silver chain 
with a blue um, crystal, a diamond shaped crystal. Oh, like a okay. diamond is in the actual shape of diamond, shaped crystal in the center of it. Um, and the the outer silver kind of um, case for it is covered in orcish runes. Wow. Is my my thing going off? No, no, no. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah it is, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Rune smithing? 9, 10, 11, 12. Do I deduce what, um, what kind of rune it is? Or 12? You can't tell exactly what rune it is, but just looking at it from where you are, you can tell that it's some kind of protective ward. Sweet! Um, I'll do an arcane check to see if it's good or bad. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You, again, you feel protective energy coming from Sweet! Putting that shit on. You can't wear two... Um, well, what have we got on at the moment? Nothing. We're, we're in finding one. Uh, can, I, can, I, can, I put, can I take the other one off and put the other one and see what it does? Yep. Okay, so I'll take that okay. off. So as, you, as soon as you pick it up, Marek runs over to you and grabs your arm and looks at it and says, um, It's the Bifrost Medallion! And this Bifrost. does... Stop! The he Bifrost. Goes, Stop! He goes, he goes um, Make that bridge! This was given to the great hero Russ by his father. He's, it is said that he lost it on his way to Calrinir's lair. It has been lost for centuries. And it does. What the Lord does it do? You know. He goes, it, says, it is said to be the ultimate protection from the cold of the mountain. <laughs> ah, totally wearing this shit. I wasn't. Not if Marek's like... <sighs> okay. Um, so you know that it... Um, that would have been helpful. Basically through... That would have been really through helpful. Through what Marek says and through what you know about magic and runes and stuff. Um, you work out that it, um, it lets you absorb up to three points of frost damage and turn that damage into health. Oh, oh wow! Sweet! Take it. But you can't cast frost spells upon yourself and do it. Oh! Ha <laughs> 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 Freeze my leg! Heal me! Just jump in this robe out of the snow! <laughs> um, it's enemy spells. It basically only activates when you're in danger. Okay. Right, okay. Um, like, wear it. Do you want me to have the rune one? Yeah, you've got a necklace on. She's got three rings and a gauntlet. Well, you can you can hang on to this. You can hang on to this. Um, you know, so you can, we can still tell on there's runes and stuff about. Um, and I'll take the uh, the frosty frost thing. I got a thing in there. So you have the Bifrost medallion. And I yeah. have the so George, where's where's my um, Marek goes. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. Well, if we go and fight a frost giant, I think it might be quite useful. This is a weapon of our ancestors. It must be returned to our chieftain. So we've used it, yeah. You can use your charisma to convince the keepers. Go on. Charisma check, which is not good, I don't think. Charisma one. Um, you get plus f uh, plus three because he likes you. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, you can make them. Yay! You're just like, Marek, we could um, we could not tell them that we found it. <laughs> <laughs> and you felt like, very well. <laughs> He's like, okay. Oh, <laughs> Because <laughs> I like you. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> yeah, no, I might, I might, yeah, I might, I might give it back after So you, you have the rune, rune, um, Bifrost medallion and you have the uh, rune necklace. Rune hunting? Yeah, cool. which I put on. So, uh, what do you want to do now? Uh, hey, let me Max, just, uh, let me just, um. Hey, Max, you want the challenge? Where's, what does it say I've got? We've not got an equipped gear section Go on this on this day. No, it's just Go it's just a, it's just a few bag of holding stuff. Go okay, to just like put a tick next to it if it's equipped or whatever. Okay, so what what is it again? Bifrost medallion. Go to the chalice. I'd like to use my my honesty ring on that uh, palette, uh, templar. Okay. Go into the chalice. Yeah, right. Okay, so you go, go back into the springs. Yeah. Wait, hello, just read every pass. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I can actually use a bit more heal, a, a bit of healing again. So can we? Yeah. Can we go um, get healed. You step into the water, you're completely healed, and you have plus one healing touch. Marek will do the same. I will do the same just because I want that another healing. Like, boom, so. boom, 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 ding. Marek now has more healing surges than he can actually get. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got five healing surges again. Yes, two. I mean three. I mean three. Okay, so um, are you gonna try and climb up the cliff face back onto the tunnels you're in? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Gideon, uh, uh, strap check to climb. 40! You manage it. Lyra. Oh! <laughs> Don't <laughs> fall, then. <laughs> you manage, and Marek. Marek falls and takes damage. 
He's then going to stand back in the pool to be fine again. <laughs> Barrett's going to climb he up. Fa- he falls into the pool. Yeah. He's then going gonna to try and climb up again. He finally manages to make it up. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so you follow the path um, back along. All I have to do is fall um, over on you guys. You're so fucking cursed. God damn it. I'm so graceful. <laughs> it's been a long day, okay? <laughs> Oh, a pickle of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, it's the bird of it. Uh, Okay, um... Go on! So you carry on up towards the, um, the, the stone stairs and the altar with the ice. Goku, yeah? let your son come with me into the desert I'll molest him. <laughs> Piccolo, I'm gonna go into space, is that okay? Sure, Goku, can I take your son and make him fight dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, that's fine! <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sorry, you're to do <laughs> Make him fight dinosaurs. Dad, you're a terrible father! Shut up, Gohan. I'm in space. No one likes you. I'm in space. Hey, Gohan. What? Gohan. What? You've got balls on your head. Oh, what? Stop it, a ball on his hat, Annie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Anyway, so you... <laughs> you oh, my God. Balls on heads and shut aside. <laughs> You've been eternally teabagged. <laughs> um, Okay, so you um, <coughs> you you make your way back to the um the, the Templar frozen in the ice. Yeah. The two orbs of light are still there, surfing on it. Well, um, go on, Ems, have at it. What? You wanted to go and fucking free the Templar. Oh, can I go and talk to the little fairies? You can't talk to them. Can I ask? Oh. Well, I'm gonna, I'm you can maybe convince Lumi to get them to talk to you. Yeah, I will. I'll do that. I'll bring yeah. you. Lumi! I choose you! Oh, okay, <laughs> Every right. time! So you explain, Lumi, that you want to try and talk to them. Yeah. Lumi! Right, okay, listen. I need to talk to them. Okay, so... Do your business. She flies up to them again. They turn into their normal form. She, um... She, Giggle like she, girls. They, go, they, oh my god! They have, like, <laughs> they have like a little discussion in, in weird fairy language. <laughs> and then um, she runs up to you and she nods happily and sits on your shoulder. And the two um, stand looking at you. Okay. Hi. Um, just wondering uh, what's going on with this okay. you know, whole thing. Um, you know. They turn into light again and they write in the trail of their light, yeah. Thief. Oh, so oh. he was trying to steal it. Was he trying to steal the chalice? Um, yes. <laughs> no. Maybe. They, they did just write again, Thief. Um, do you want us to get rid of him? You, can, can you free him and we'll get rid of him for you? Um, they write danger. He's danger. They write chalice. The chalice is danger. Okay, is the chalice the same as this? I hold up my bow at Um, they, they, they look um, scared of the oh, gauntlet. Right, okay, this has got her in, her in it. I'm pointing at my shoulder. <laughs> Lumi, um, they write sister. Yeah, Aww. yeah. Um, was it the ancient ones that put the chalice there? Um, is he one of the ancient ones? He's just tampon, he's not the They write thief. Okay, he's a thief, so he's not the ancient one, okay. Um, okay, so he's a thief. Would it be possible for us to just spore out him and I'll get my buddy Giddy to, you know, threaten him a bit and make sure he doesn't steal anything? You can still keep the chalice frozen. They write leave. Oh. Pretty please. Okay. Um, we don't. We don't. Right. Okay. Um. Uh, you can do Christmas checks to try and convince them. Things like that. Okay, I'll do a Christmas check to just see if they'll see if they'll let uh, let me unfreeze. So, so what are you like saying with this Christmas? Can I let? Can I um let Gideon unfreeze? Wait, wait. Well, why don't we? Why don't you say? Well, we, can, we, can we basically take care of the the, the temple? Well, it's like like like. Oh no, I don't really. Okay, okay yeah, okay. Can we punish him for being a thief? Oh, your, um, your rune necklace is going, by the way. Seven. Add three. Um, I mean... Plus three, so ten. You actually just make it. Okay, what do they say? Um, they write careful. Okay, can you all free them or would you like Gideon to do it? Gideon can use fire, you see. I can't. No, I'm not, um, they no. write you. Me? Him? Just, you. just the word. Okay, you. okay, you all free the temple. No, you. <laughs> Me? I can't. You're talking to them, they said you. You basically went, do you want us to do it or them? And they or, or the trust rights, and they just wrote you. Okay, unfreeze um, at half of the temple. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, um, uh, can I borrow that fire ring? Yep, there you go. 
ching, put a fire ring on. There's a lot of uh, item trading in this, uh, in this one. So I'm gonna, rather than just go flames, just burn out like Bertha, I'm gonna kind of like thaw out a, a pat, like the thaw the guy out, and be like, oi, slap him about a bit. Oi, wake up, not bad. Okay. Um, he's dead. Oh, he's yes. dead. Excellent. Oh, oh, he's totally dead. Let's loot yeah. him. Okay. Perception test. That's a 15, 16, 17, 18. Unthought him okay. completely. He's dead. Yeah, unthought him completely. He is unthought. No, Gideon just thawed the Templar out and left the chalice frozen, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. That was the idea, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, um, his armour is completely useless. It's yeah. so frail and corrupted by the ice. Um, he doesn't even seem to be holding a weapon. Um, where he would normally have a gauntlet on his right hand, it's gone. Which you could assume is yours. I do assume this because you've just said it. <laughs> well, hang on, let's, let's put two and two together. He can, doesn't have his gauntlet. Okay. That's why he must have lost the gauntlet in another in another area. So maybe the gauntlet will allow you to pick up the chalice. No, because they don't want um, you to touch the chalice. It's in danger. Um, also, looking over his frozen body, you realise that he has a necklace on. Sweet. What kind of necklace? Um, so too many necklaces. The ne- we look at bracelets and shit. <laughs> yeah, that would be helpful. Um, the necklace that he has on isn't actually a necklace. It's a piece of ribbon with a runestone attached to the end. Oh, okay, we'll take that. Oh, runes with Jack. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm saying not <laughs> Charlie. Four, five, six, seven. You don't know what it is. Oh. Just um, but bag. but just looking at it, um, it is actually made of bone, and it has uh, a carving into it of a rune that has been lined with gold. Okay, so okay. bone, golden line. Going line room, that would work. Bone room. Okay, Lines. so um, I'm going to turn back to the fairies and room. say, um, ask them how how long has he been frozen in there for? Um, he's been, how long has he been dead for, basically? They write leave, and then instantly erase it and write please. Aww. Should we leave then? Um. Is there any way I can convince them to let me examine the chalice? Try charisma. They're gonna get agitated. That's 19. a nineteen. Nineteen. Um, so um, yeah, you you basically convince them. Lou, that, I get Lumi to go and give them a bit of sister talk. Yeah. Um, and they write careful again. So can I? Yeah. Okay, then unfreeze it for me, please. Okay. Unfreezing. I'm not touching it. Okay. Just unfreezing it. As you freeze it away. Unfreeze it. Unfreeze it. Uh, it melts around the chalice, and you instantly get a feeling of some kind of dark thing in the chalice. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. no. I'm just going to be like, that. Ah. No. Do you want to do okay? I'm going to freeze that back up. <laughs> do you want to do Arcana first and check, see if you can see Okay, it? Arcana's here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As you channel your man- magical energies, they get drawn into the chalice. Oh, shit. And suddenly the, the chalice starts bellowing smoke around the room. Um, I'm going to freeze up again. <laughs> Dead quick. Oh, it's a wraith. Oh, no. The smoke emerges from the chalice. Oh, shit. And then this, these red flashes come from within the smoke. And suddenly two skeletal arms emerge from the smoke. And a, an ash black skull emerges from the smoke. It's, it's eyes burning with flame. And it's flame coming from the smoke. Um, the two frost sprites panic, turn, and fire ice at it, and it instantly fends a fire blast through that ice and kills the two frost sprites. Oh, oh no! Lumi! Uh, this is your fault! Um, do a creature check to see if you know what it is. That's a six. An 18. Uh, uh, six. No, no, I totally don't know what it is. Uh, oh, Larry knows what it is. Yes! Um, you know that it is an inferno wraith. Okay, cool. But you don't know anything about it. Hey, right, I well, you know that it's a fire elemental, basically. Oh, awesome! Well, I've got water. I'm gonna water. I'm, I'm, like, I'm gonna water blast it. Is, like, he, blah, blah. is he part of the chalice, or is he escaped yeah. from the chalice? Um, you can't tell really. It came I would put Lumi. Lo- I would. I would make Lumi go back away. Oh yeah, I would turn, I would turn right. Okay. Back um, I'm gonna water. I'm gonna water okay, blast no, it. Right. So now in battle. So the order is gonna be Lyra, Gideon. Sorry, no, Inferno Wraith, Lyra, Gideon, Marek. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to know what I'm going to do? And then Lumi, if you okay, have Okay, yeah, she's not. Okay, so, um, first is the Inferno Wraith. Yep, what did he do? Um, 
he is going to cast smoke and try and blind you all. So Gideon is blinded, Marek is not blinded, and Lyra is blinded. So you two can't see anything. Oh, really? um, you, it's something you have to dispel. Oh, right. Well, what, with willpower? Yeah. Oh, I can't currently with willpower. Okay, so now it's Lyra. <sighs> I guess I'll dispel it. Okay. Willpower check. Feet getting cold. A little bit. Ten? Uh, no, you didn't. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to try to spell it. It's a twelve. Yeah? Yeah, so you... I know I have to roll under it. Oh, okay. Gay. Um, so you've... Uh, Bullshit. Uh, Marek will wildly swing his oh, thing. Oh, he's going to hit me. He's not, he's not blinded, though. You can see Oh, is he not? No. All right. Oops. Marek hits it. Do it. Eight. So we can hit it, which is good. So it's corporeal. It's got corporeal form. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm, here's my plan, okay? You know how they said that the chalice can, and the chalice and the gauntlet together can uh, capture uh, infernal things? Yes, yes it can. However, I, I reckon if you used them both, I reckon Lumi would probably get pushed out. Really? It's a chance you want to take it. You want to take a chance? Well, you're, you're still blinded, remember? I know, I can't do that yet. Yeah, She's well, just thinking. thinking of, oh, it? yeah, it's the Wraith as well now as well. Yeah, I think that would be a bad idea. Wait, I think we should. Do, I, think, I think we should just try and kill the. Just right. try and okay. kill it. So the um, the wraith is now gonna. Um, he's gonna summon a firewall behind you at the top of the stairs when you came in, and he. Um, he actually fails. Yeah. Ah. Wow, turn. Dispel. Dispel. Uh, don't dispel. You don't dispel. You're still. I'm gonna try to dispel it. Fuck. You're still blind. Marek again is going to wildly swing at it. Um, and hits it. Doing nothing. Um, he swings it the second time. Hits it. Doing uh, two. Is this thing still crawling about the floor? It's not on the floor. It's floating over. It's, oh, right. it's like a mist creature with a skull and, and arms all on fire. So it's a fire it's elemental, right? not a wraith. No. You might want to use water. Fire elemental, there's thousands of different types. Of oh, elements. right. Okay. Elemental just means it's made of that element. Okay, cool. Well, um, no, that's water. There's so just some... a frost, right? It's a water elemental. And the, that spirit in the water is also a water elemental. So it's, is it the fire one now? It's right? a fire one. Yeah. I mean, it's Okay, the fire well, let, let's, let's chat. Let's try and dispel this fucking smoke. Oh, thing. yeah, sorry, yeah, it's the fire thing's done. It's gonna make, he's trying to try and make that wall again. And fails. Okay, your turn. My turn, dispel. Yes! So Spell. you're out of the blind, Bruh. Lyra. Out of the blind. He's also out of the blind. Marek, Marek swinging and hitting, Swing, doing swinging like a windmill. Three, swinging like and a windmill, hitting again, doing nothing. So we did three. Okay. Raid turn. Got no, raid turn. Flamey skull yeah, it's skeleton oh, yeah, man. Exactly. I keep forgetting that it's him after um, Marek. Marek. Okay, so um, he cast flame all this time. So he's now gonna cast. Um, he's gonna put his palms together and send flames through all three of you. So, uh, Marek, he misses. Gideon, he misses. I've got an epic fail, come on now. And, um, thingy, uh, Lyra, she misses. I think got an epic fail of a one. My um, it's, it's a weird, it's, um, it's part of the creature's powers, it's not a spell he's casting. Use water. Okay. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna use water blast on it. Which um, can fail and do uh, D3, uh, one damage to yourself. Oh what? No, I'm going right. This isn't. This isn't right. You got a one. Yeah. So the other thing got a one. Surely so yeah, it's not. No, but that. you're channeling magical energies. The flames are just part of its body. Oh, fine then. <laughs> one. One. My turn. Yep. No, I've got another. T I've got another you action. You actually him, but yeah. No, no, no. I've got. Okay, I've got another action. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh well, we're doing a bit of one. Piss flaps. You get when you throw like a noob. <laughs> you're a noob. <laughs> 18, I fucking hit it yeah, that you time. Yeah, you hit it, doing um, D, D3 for what best? Three. D3, three. Um, you, um, it smoulders and then goes <gasps> as you hit it with water. So it doesn't do any additional damage? Yes. And you also tell it it doesn't like water. Yeah. So how much additional damage does it do? Oh, you did five altogether. Oh, cool, so just plus two. Yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah. so um, Marek, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, sorry, Lyra. You <laughs> went to go before Gideon, it's confusing. Go on. I guess I'll just attack him with my dagger. 
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get. Don't use Piotr's dagger though. I'm gonna. Um, I know. I've, I've got my other orcish dagger. I'm gonna take my other dagger and just slice at it. Okay. So your first action is to draw your dagger, and your second is to attack. Yeah. My dagger's already drawn. Is it? Yeah. I never, never seized it. Beats. Oh. Uh, okay. Sheathed okay. It. All right. Yeah? Yeah. I was going to say, I assumed you would have sheathed it when you started climbing your wall. Oh, wait, okay, <laughs> then, yeah, I guess so, yeah. So, Carrying them out. Yeah, you hit with that one attack, just D3, oh, just, no, wrong, just D3 wrong plus 2. Yeah, um, are you five. Are you holding it in your gauntlet hand or your other hand? Your flaming hand. She's not got a flaming hand, i got a flaming ring. Have you got a flaming ring? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I thawed the guy out there. Your gauntlet hand, though, yeah. Your gauntlet hand. Alright, so you do no damage. Oh, so you do one damage. Um, it's got a physical resistance three. Oh, add two. Okay, so I do. Cool, that's fine. Okay, so um, Marek's gonna swing at it, doing um, hitting, doing uh, nothing, and then hitting, doing nothing again. Fuck. The Inferno Wraith is gonna cast flames on itself. It's gonna heal itself. Yeah. Wow. Ain't that a surprise? And heals two. You need to hit water, I'm fucking trying. Why don't you spit on it? I might do some good. No, it's it's okay. You're meant to go before him. I but know, yeah. Go okay. Go on, Gideon. Water. Okay. Hit, hit it. You hit it. Yep. Three. Doing two, three, four, five. Five. Yep. Next yep. one. Um, Eighteen. It died. Oh yes, I killed oh, it. Oh, get so, it. So you. you That's hit, do it properly. Do it okay, properly. so you 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 spin <laughs> water like... energy around you like Katara. <laughs> you so you summon an orb of water directly above it and wait for it to cast a spell. And as it's channeling flames, you release the spell and it rains on him and completely puts out his flames. Um, after that, it goes, <gasps> um, um, turns it back into smoke, gets pulled back into the chalice. Hang on, and then I've got a spell that I've not gotten here. What? The rain cloud. That's because it's not an attack. Oh, because totally made it rain, got it? <laughs> I made it rain in the room. Yeah. And then, um, it. and got it, um, it gets pulled back into the chalice, and then a burst of flame comes from the chalice. Um, you each take D6 fire damage, and you're on fire. Oh, so, what? Gideon takes five, Lyra takes three, and Marek takes six. You might want to start. So we're we're on, fire. on fire. I'm going to use my rain cloud thing and put myself out. Yeah, good idea. Yay! Really I knew that spell was useful. What did I take? Three? Yeah. Uh, you took uh, five. Quick to the spring room! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, so. How many XP do I get for killing it? Yeah, how much? Um, you can both have one. I've got one quite a lot of XP. I've got, I've got, I've got 11 XP so far. I have a level 2. I only need 3 more. 4 more. I level up. Okay, so where do you want to go? Uh, I guess, what are we going to do with this chalice? Um, the chalice is stuck, still stood on the, um, the thing. Well, the two frostbites have gone now that are stopping you from getting it. Hmm. Oh, Will this thing come back? Is it, is it dead? Dead? don't know. You could look at the energies coming from the chalice. Okay, I'll kill the chip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, mm. You no longer feel the darker power coming from it. But what, well, does it, what does it do, this thing? I don't even understand. Okay, so I'm going to go towards it. Okay. And I'm going to pick it up with my gauntlet. Okay. So as you pick it up with your gauntlet, it crumples oh. and attacks and Ew. gets absorbed into your gauntlet. Yeah. And suddenly your gauntlet begins to grow and it now takes up your entire arm and becomes a shoulder pad with a mark of a black chalice on it. You now have an entire armoured arm. Oh, wow. Can I take it off? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, so it's kind of just like... I'm just yeah. like... Lumi! <laughs> I'm going to bring Lumi you, out. You summon it out and Lumi comes out. And she's fine? Yeah. Is she not like on fire or anything? No, okay, so she's... Ooh, so from Lumi. what you can tell, the, the, the fire elemental that was in there is completely gone. Okay, cool. So when we defeated it, we literally... So it, it was like, if Lumi gets defeated, she yeah. gets defeated. she gets banished from Okay. Fire. Oh no! Is there me any more powerful? Because I've got that chalice. No. Is there any rune things there that I can uh, put runes in? Runes for then? I can't do that. Can you, you can ask Gideon to look at it. For me? Gideon, hang on. Oh, fuck's sake! 
Never mind. Right. Go so, uh, uh, on. She's trying to look at her new armored arm to see if there's any kind of runestones on it. So okay, so what am I doing? I'm doing a. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. So you can't, you can't. There are runes on it, but you can't, uh, you can't tell what they are. You can do. I can check to check the energies. You can do perception just to look Please. at it. Or uh, perception. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, it's now. Um, it's now. The armor carries on to your. Is it fused um, to her? No. no. It carries on to your shoulder where it becomes a a, a, a black armor shoulder pad. And then the armor carries up along. Um, sorry, up to your elbow, which becomes an armored elbow. And then it goes up to your shoulder, which becomes one big shoulder pad with um, the symbol of a chalice on there. Excellent. Wow! It's all right, isn't it? I want to go back to Serena and ask her about it because she know she was talking about the ancient. Yeah, we can do, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll go. We'll go back to the spring room then. Mean, Marik's there, completely confused. Marik's like, for fuck's sake, I want to go home. Okay. These so-called heroes. So you go back to the springs. It doesn't matter if you if you fail to climb down because you'll probably just jump in the water anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we're healed. Hey, look at this. Blech. It's so, okay. Splash in the water. I'm yeah, good. you're all you're all healed and stuff. I've got four now. <laughs> four healing. <laughs> oh, you don't you don't get an extra one this time. No, I want four. Because you didn't use the one that you got. True. True. Um, okay, so um, you kind of you kind of call for Serena and she manifests again. Is this the thing that brought you here? He goes. That is the gauntlet of the ancient ones. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna ride the gauntlet. Chalice gauntlet now. Chalice. Chalice gauntlet. There you go. Um, awesome. Do you know what it exactly it does? Yes. The ancient ones use that use use that armored arm to capture us elementals and bring us to this place. Okay, okay. Just question: Can it capture more than one elemental at a time? I believe that only one can be held within it at any time. Oh, but but really? completed with both gauntlet and chalice, you can entrap el- um, any lesser elemental. Woohoo! So I can have like a multiple of a million. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, you can only carry one. No. But say Lumi dies, you can capture somebody else, or okay. you can release her and capture someone else. Okay. <laughs> Call it um, um, entrapment gauntlet. Okay. Okay, so you all done here? Yep. So you carry on, you wander through Calvinist Lair and Calvinist like, like you again. Look what I found, Calvin here! <laughs> okay, and you. Um, Do you like my cute black arm? That's pretty cool. So you emerge outside and you're stood in front of the Colis Gate. What do you like to do? Would it be really cool if I put the ring on my chat on my gold finger and you just can't. turned it all like? You can't, you can't. <laughs> I'm saying you, can't, you, you can't fit a ring on your gold. I know. <laughs> I know. I just think it would be really cool. Anyway, yeah, we're going back to the Colors Gate, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're studying front of the Colors Gate. What yep. do you want to do? You can put in the ring, uh, the gem. Okay, so Gideon steps forward, you all stand on the colour skate and put in the gem. Yep. yep. Barrick, get ready to You all stand on it. Um, smoke begins to rise um, around it, completely surrounding you. The smoke starts flashing different colours. The runes of the colour skate shine, making blinding light. You feel the mag- magical energies pulse around you, and before you know it, the smoke dissipates and you're back at the Colors Gate you originally came through. Oh. So you're back at Wintershire Plateau. Yay! And that is that. Is that the end of the... That is the end of oh. that Mountains. Excellent. So, next is the big battle against Uthgar. Oh God. So now you have the ability to call Cowra near. I know, yeah, that's awesome. So we should give that to Ross or Russ or whatever. Russ. Ross. <laughs> Russ. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah! So, yeah! That's that! That's awesome. Is there anything we missed? Um, Not really. We got everything! Yes, for once! We caught them all! Um, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. The only thing you missed is when you were going through the ice caves last the other episode. Yeah. Um, you know you went to the top path and then chose to go back down? Yeah. yeah. Had you gone to the room on the opposite side, um, there was a chest there. Um, that had a fire rod in it that cast fireball once per day. Um, <laughs> it had some um, pieces of mammoth steak. Really? Nom 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 nom. It, um, nom and it also had a diary of a. Um, sorry, it had it had a skeleton of a um, a tengu as well. Oh. Um, and um, the diary of that tengu who was researching the, uh, the temple at the top of the summit, um, which had a translation for all of the um, the traps in there. Stuff. Okay, good. Yeah. 
So that would have been useful. useful. That would have been, been useful. That would have been very useful. But we that, need that's that. basically the only thing you missed. Pick it out. Excellent. Fire Roman would have been pretty cool. <laughs> so, did we fight every single monster that there was? Yep. It could have been. Well, we could have jumped down and done Well, technically, no. Technically, no, because you killed all the judgment. Yeah. That would have been fucking tough, though. That would have made the end boss battles so much harder. Yeah. <laughs> Having to fight all these cronies. God. Oh, yeah. That Phoenix Blast was awesome, though. Yeah. I'm so gonna try and make my own Phoenix Blast now. Oh. <laughs> That'd be ace. Okay, so um, Bravo, bravo. So you're ready to assault Krakwald. Krakwald, take back the home of the orcs. Exactly. Cool. Oh, yeah, we'll totally take it back. So, I guess we'll see you later then. Yeah, see you later, guys. Bye! Thanks for listening. Bye, Bye friends. Goodbye. Jared Goku! <laughs>